Your the presence foothold on the wall the is all we need. Fulch has said if you don't order, he'll rip your balls off. And make hey, Fulch's medallion. You're over. the one who crushed Salamandra. Of him. Where is Quick fall, Dutch, give victory! Those and shed blood. Hey, one not you who defeated the Grand Master and put down the rebellion in Vizim? Quick fall, Dutch, give victory! Oh, looky then, you boy, it's that Witcher. Get old Oblivion ought to know about amulets. Witcher, sir. We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Boholt. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kenneth, and this one here they call Desperate, and this is New Boy. He's um, the apprentice in what like. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now New Boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, we all got a little riled. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorceress, too. Boholt was just fooling about the uh, raping and all. What kind of trouble are you in now? It's a matter of life, death, and quite a bit of coin in point of fact. New boy bet a night that he'll survive the assault in his shirt and knickers alone. We drunk a bit by then, I admit, but a wager's a wager. Our honor's at stake. A soldier's honor versus a knight's. I think I get it. The very core of the matter, Witcher. We're slated to go in the first wave, so the going's liable to be hard. New boy's brave but he can't survive by courage alone. In any case, we've come into this bauble that's supposed to protect him, magically like. You mind casting an expert's glance at it, seeing a sorcery and such is not strange to you. Let me see this bauble. Your wolf medallion, I saw it shake. It reacts to magic. So it's true, what the priest said. Hear that, new boy? You'll be safe. We'll fleece that night, we will. Where did you get this talisman? We came by it, let's say. We were on patrol, see, and ran into a couple of novice priestesses praying at this shrine. They were nice, smiling and all. We don't want to take them two on patrol. Ho ho ho! But shut it! Boat had one of his rare moments of clairvoyance when rummaging in the shrine and found the amulet. Who knows what goes on in that head of his? But every now and then, he wakes up as good old Boholt. Aye, he still cuts them down with a single wallop. In any case, we took the amulet and went off to find the rest of the patrol. Oh, the wonders we saw. First, ran into some squirrels, vicious ones, arrows flying everywhere. But we came through untouched. Barely three of the others still standing when a dragon swooped down. The elves fell to their knees. We all legged it. The amulet's magic for certain. Though it failed to protect the shrine from your patrolling. Aye, true. Well, now we don't know what to think. There's clearly magic in the trinket, but I doubt it'll deflect swords or arrows. Shit, I knew it. I told you so, you idiot. Screw honor. Don your metal, new boy. You'll go into battle, confessional and all. So be it. Who I'd like to have fleeced the noble. Damn shame. Too true. Overwhelming force. That's what we are. They're getting one, ladies. Too true. Overwhelming. Word is, way up north, there's a tribe of one. Goat stew today. Why the hell not? My gut's been rumbling since morning. 
That quacks to operate on bank. Stop quo. bothering me! Oh, he don't sew his dick to his fore. Did he get hit in the dick? Yeah, they cut him up like a pig. Better off dead and buried. What do we get? Word is, way up north, there's a tribe of wild... Those trebuchets are fucking pounding the poor uh, powders! He will never see us! Your top stop, soldiers! Keep at it and none of you will see home! Fall in! Move those feet! This is the army, not the barnyard! On the double! Move it! Down! Greetings. Can I in... What's the cause? Ah, uh, uh, uh -huh. There's nothing to... Yeah, why? You care to... Beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency, we're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally. Oh. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea Your Grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men? Of such wounds. And what say you, Your Grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the royal court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sado. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sado. For your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when uh, they're my children? If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead. And I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. 
black ones in my camp for a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Marigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I couldn't have handled it better myself. Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Adder no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Chris did an autopsy. It's possible he was a witcher. A witcher? What have I ever done to the plowing witchers? Anything more? He had no medallion, but that doesn't mean anything. Many in your shoes have withheld that information. After the battle, Triss will report to me. For now, let us tend to the traitors. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at your belly! Catch, Witcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? Two and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it. We'll get him on the walls. Follow me, Witcher. You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tip. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children, but they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped, a motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. That's the swiving soldier's life. Taking orders, fashion. Going and country there, your wife. And a long road at Chitso. That tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points. 
whether at a ball or in battle.